Hi, welcome to Oxide Bytes. We're going to do a short segment on augmented reality, what it is, who uses it, and how can I get a pair like this. Augmented reality is a technique whereby you can put computerized information inside your actual visual field. So say I'm looking at a, at a street corner and people walk past. That's my normal reality that I normally see. But augmented means to add something else on top. So if I was wearing a display that wasn't just see-through glass, but was actually a computer screen, I could actually see some other digital information on top. Now that could be something simple like the time of day or where my next meeting is, but it could be something a bit more interesting, a bit more fun. Like it could be like arrows on the ground that show me where I should go to that meeting. Or if I'm looking at people and I don't know who they are, I'm potentially be able to find a face and they'd be able to tell me what that, who, that, who that person is, what their name is. Um, but these days it's actually in the realms of possibility of things that we can use in products. And obviously Oxite products really heavily based on the idea of augmenting somebody's vision, augmenting their reality. Now where it used to be very, very large systems, now we actually have ones which are relatively small. And I'll talk about these in, in some detail in a moment. But this is a normal, basically a computer with a see-through screen, but it, actually inside there is a, is a little transparent mirror, more or less, which is able to bounce an image into your eye while you see the rest of the world normally. The classic one that people talk about is in industry where you're doing maintenance on something complex like a jet engine. And I haven't done that, I don't know how many people out there have actually worked on jet engines before, but apparently it's very, very hard. So rather than having your whole big manual of, of all the 6,000 parts that you have and fish through that while you're looking for where you dropped your screw, you could actually have a, uh, a see-through display which shows you where you're looking at normally, but then the part where you're working on overlaid on top of that. So augmenting that, your normal vision with some digital content that you produced. And some people think that's a, that's a worthwhile thing to do. Other ones are more like gaming technology, such as you may have heard of Pokemon Go, where you're looking through your mobile phone at the real outside world, but based on where you are, there's a digital uh, character or an egg that you've got to walk up towards and catch. And so that's your ability to put uh, digital information on top of the normal world. Now here at Oxide, we're interested in other applications of that. So allowing you to have a pair of smart glasses, which look like regular glasses, but we're able to help improve the visibility of certain things. This might be a person's face, it might be text you want to read, or ultimately we'd like to get to positions where we're looking at much more interesting things that are specific to you. The classic augmented reality system that came around a bit more than five years ago is one called Google Glass. Now it was a really slender device. You can see it's just got a little a uh, band that goes around the forehead. It's got a tiny computer in there, battery on the back, and this little display on the front, which is like a piece of, looks like a piece of glass with a little mirror in it. And it, it sits on the head, you know, just like this really. Just like a, a cool band from the future. Um, and there's a little display here, which I can use to see like small field of view, which tells you things like the time or my next meeting, or I can take photos and, um, and see those photos later on. Now skip forward about five years time and you've got the, uh, the, the king of augmented reality which is HoloLens made by Microsoft. Now it is a much, much larger thing. It's like wear, worn like a giant visor. It's got two lovely bright screens on the inside here that you can sort of see. You can look right through them and see me, but you can also see digital information on top. But its real magic is in the sensor array. So a range of different cameras here that are able to map the environment and composite information that would actually stay fixed. So as I look around, you know, I'd be able to see a floating 3D world sitting there, or I could have Skype you know, calls coming on my window like that. You know, really kind of marvelous sort of stuff. Now it just goes on like this. Giant battery, giant computer, cranks on there like that. It actually doesn't have any buttons rather than the on button, but you control everything with your hands. So I can open up menus, I can click on different things, I can pause it, you know, can, I can move things from around, around like that. Then we have a new system by a company called Vuzix. Now, uh, Vuzix has been in the area for a long time doing, uh, doing excellent work in VR. And recently they've uh, produced one called the Blade. Now it has a see-through display, camera on one side, battery on the other. And it really, it's an Android phone on the inside. So while I look in here, I can actually see the time. I can see a couple of apps that I can collect. It's not a hand gesture, actually it's all just here on the side. So this allows me to have, you know, something which is a relatively normal looking pair of glasses. Uh, it doesn't feel particularly heavy either, but it's got a lot of functionality that we can, we can add information on top of your normal field of view. 
there's a lot to a lot to come at, at Oxlite. We're really excited about this because it, the potential it provides is is both making something which is acceptable. So it's a it's a device. You know, it's a it's a piece of technology. We actually, you know, a lot of people would actually like to wear, but also it just adds so much more. You know, it allows us to be able to enhance objects really at will. Find objects in the dark in some cases, you know, and add, add lots of information that you that may be difficult to see already. So I hope you've enjoyed this, the first of our hopefully many uh, short segments here on different technologies at Oxide, and see you next time. Bye.